Hoi hoi, a wild star has appeared, and we're continuing on with our conversations on Pokemon types. And, ooh, let's see if we can catch the Zubat, but, uh, anyway, uh, fucking, let me just, let me just put this way on our type of conversation. I hate that it took up to, what, Gen, Gen 5? Gen 5 to come up with pure flying type Pokemon. Like, without any secondary type, okay? And then, not only that, but we still have yet to have one that is not, that is not a legendary. We don't have that! No, we don't! Everything that's close to a basic flying type, uh, a la fucking Spiro, Pidgeotto, Doduo, Farfetch'd, um, Hoot Hoot, uh, uh, what else is there? Uh, shit. Uh, balls. Swablu, Talo, Starly, they're all normals. And you know, you know how much I fucking feel about goddamn normals, the goddamn second rate, the second raiders of the Lost Ark? No, um, but in all seriousness, they. Why? Why do they have to ha be attached to that plague? There's no point to it. Uh, sorry about that, folks. My my video just paused. Hopefully I'll be able to get that once I uh, edit it down a bit. But, uh, is it good? Okay, yeah, it's good. We caught the zoom back. I was afraid. I was like, no, please tell me I kept, I kept it going. But no, flying types... That, that's my primary issue, and I know it's not to blame, like, the the type itself, but to blame the usage of the type. It's so fucking lazy. Like, honestly, I don't think Combi and Vespaquin should be put in the fi flying type. I mean, they have wings, but I don't think Scyther is a, is a bug flying. I'm not see- oh, never mind, he's a bug flying. Shit! Shit! There goes one of my primary arguments. Okay, uh, let's name someone who doesn't have wings that is in the flying type, for whatever reason. Uh, he floats, fucking... Skiploom floats. I'm... Mm -hmm, I don't know how to feel about I'm gonna leave it to a big old mystery. It's gonna be a big old mysterious one. I'm gonna argue Rayquaza, even though his... <laughs> Yeah, there is the Sky Domain aspect, but he doesn't have wings, he just floats. What does fl Flying doesn't necessarily have to do with the sky. Mm, that, that sounds dumber than it did in my head. <laughs> oh, good, good gravy, good golly Miss Molly. Uh, fucking Ruffalette can't fly. And fucking Duck Duo! And Duck... Oh, wait, no, they can learn fly. Shit, shit. How? How do they do that? And I know the joke's been made a million times about them just operating their their heads like like fucking uh, helicopter fins, but it don't work. That's not how you go, because that's an easy way to just, first of all, get your necks all discombobulated, and if not that, then you get, uh, then, you know, you get all disoriented. You get disoriented if you do that, unless, I don't know, I've heard about there are some, uh, there are some, uh, creatures that have, like, that have elements in their nature that prevent them from getting that kind of, like, but essentially it helps protect them from <laughs> statuses, from real, R.I.L. statuses in, in, in the context of, you know, people. Like me, and you, and Celestila is flying? Why is Celestila flying? It doesn't have wings. I don't think it floats. Unless the, unless its arms are rockets, but they didn't appear to be rockets. They appeared to, you know, just hang out by, by their sides. What gives? Why? That's dumb. That's a dumb thing. And let, let, okay. Something that I forgot to talk about when it came to the water types was the moves. And I also forgot about the moves. Well, I referenced them a little bit in uh, fighting types, but like, there are a few types that I can point out that, you know, 
that can be differentiated from uh, from them. Not too many, mind you, but a few. Bounce. Bounce should not be a flying type. It should be a fighting type move. Thank you. Chatter. Fairy. Uh, defog. Defog! For God's sakes! Like, if anything deserves to be normal... <laughs> Dragon Descent. It's called Dragon... Wait, no, it's Dragon Ascent. Dragon Ascent is a normal type move. Dragon Ascent is a flying type type move. If it's a flying type. Not 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 the not the type that's in its fucking name. But but alas, it is a flying type move. I'm gonna hit a big old doubt on that one. Thank you very much. Pluck. Dark. Plucking is a dark thing. When do you when do you fucking pluck something like I don't know, maybe there's a sensual bit? Like, I don't know, that one that one nurse from Ferris Bueller. And I'm here to restore your pluck, because I'm the nurse who likes to. And, and it's just like, ah, uh, the high schooler got sent a prostitute. It's funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodness. Um, let's see. Okay, there are a lot of things that I'm seeing that can be used as flying types. Okay, yeah, a good majority of these, I'd say, are pretty decent flying type moves. But... There are a few, like Dragon Ascent, that are flying types that shouldn't be. Or well, probably shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Uh, and, you know, of course, we have... We've got lots of good typings going on here. You dig? We got... We got Togekiss. Togekiss is a good one. I'm not too big a fan of the shiny. But, other than that... It was. It's been a pretty high-statted Pokemon, pretty revered, honestly, since its introduction. And I think this gen specifically. Uh, fucking, you've got the legendary birds, the original legendary birds. So how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? I mean, when I was a kid, I liked Zapdos, but now I'm big into Articuno, even though I Articuno was my least favorite in the when I was a kid. Why? Because it gets its ass knocked the fuck out in the in the second movie in Pokemon the movie 2000. Yeah, yeah, that's how much that's how much of a nerd about the anime I used to be. Oh. And you know, like the people writing the the movie didn't seem to give didn't seem to care much for Articuno either, because I mean. Articuno was the butt of the joke that uh, that Team Rocket says, where it's like, I'd hate to be shocked by that lightning. I'd hate to be burned by that fire. I'd hate to get hit by their droppings! And it's just like, ah, bird poop. Ah. They got rid, they got rid of <laughs> So, in the book, the, yeah, I had Pokemon the movie 2000, the book. Okay. <laughs> they, believe it or not, they censored that bit of the script. Like, it was more or less a direct translation of the script to the movie. They censored that. But they still, they still get, did an opportunity to just, I don't know, dunk on Articuno. By that I mean, like, make Articuno the Waluigi of the group. By, like, it was, it was, ah, uh, burnt by light, burnt by thunder, fuck! Burnt by thunder, uh, shocked by fire, and then I'd hate to get hit by their large wings. And it's, God, it was so bad. It was so cringe. And it's just like, well, now I'm just going to focus in on that slice of dialogue in the movie from now on. And you know, one of the first Pokemon that I actually found genuinely menacing was Tentacruel, primarily just because of the episode that I come to think of it don't remember too well but I think I think it was ultimately like the the anime intro where I got real intimidated by t uh, by Tentacruel because up until that point I don't think we've seen any fucking Pokemon just by itself knock fucking buildings down it's like it's hard so true a boy will pull us through and it's just like Jesus Jeez, Tentacruel, chill! God damn! 
Holy shit! And it also, he also made me kind of fear water. Fear, uh, lots of water. Me Mega Pidgeot! I, I keep forgetting Mega Pidgeot exists! I just look down on my phone and it's just like, oh, shit, that's right, Mega Pidgeot. And I shouldn't forget about Mega Pidgeot, because Mega Pidgeot's fucking cool! It, it's a cool mon, man. Really super adorable, you guys. Uh, that was lame. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Falconer. Falconer is a yeah. He he's a starter. What do you expect? Like honestly, honestly, Falconer looks just like an up a slightly souped up uh, bird train bird keeper trainer. He he wasn't too memorable. I I'd say like the first uh the first big notable uh uh flying type user was Skyla. And then of course there's uh Kahili. Kahili is an asshole! She is a fucking bitch who gets fucking pissed at you after you win. Like or or at least when you return. I, I've I've cycled through the, the Elite Four for too uh, for too long to remember like <laughs> to remember how she was when we first met. But as of right now, she's like, oh, great, you again. And to be fair, I'd have that reaction, too. But in a kid's game, it's like, chill. Like, um, uh, like the fucking fire girl from, uh, who was in Gen 6. Uh, the fire, um, the fire, uh, Elite Four member. Like, what, what's with the, what's with Pokemon and, like, going from cool, happy-go-lucky, like, ladies to... I'm gonna kick your fucking ass for fucking winning, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, there's so many of them now. It's like, geez, can't we go back to the to good old fashioned Aurora and and others? <laughs> I, I was about to say Misty, but it's like, mmm, mmm. I mean, in the game, in the game, she's cool headed. She's like, hey, you won, whatever. But in the in the show, she's like, whoa. Oh, Ash, you're gonna pay for my goddamn bicycle if I have to break your kidneys in half. Both of them. Just cut them in half, maybe splice them together as some sort of Simpsons-esque pigeon rat. And who the fuck are you? Oh, Jesus, you're coming right for me. He's lucky I didn't. I wasn't armed. I would have I would stabbed my ground. I would have protected myself. Ooh. Tell me you've not obtained a pal pad? Don't you want a pal pad? Uh, it doesn't sound it sounds worse than it is even though like in this rendition it's it's fucking useless because you know I can't I can't go multiplayer on a ROM not that I've figured it out yet if I once if I manage to figure it out then one day I will someday no it won't be someday because you know I can't be asked to do that I don't I don't give a shit I don't I, I always considered like um like inter trainer and uh, like interpersonal uh the interpersonal effects of Pokemon are secondary to me. That's me. That's my opinion. Oh and there they are. They're the fucking punk asses. And I forgot to save, so I'm just like, oh jeez, I better better hit that button real quick. Professor Rowan, what what's wrong? What's happened? Oh dang. Well, how's your Pokedex? <laughs> oh dang, I was hoping not to run into these guys. Oh. He's like, hey, can you kick these guys' asses for me? Oh, why must you be so difficult? I'm making enough for you can with fools. I'm not good at my impressions anymore because I lack confidence, you see. That's what does it. I'm not just general, not being talented at anything. Ugh. If only my, my uh, grade school teachers could see me now. I don't know. Some of them would be like, yeah, that's what I thought. And some would be like, damn. <laughs> some would be like, aww. The most, uh, well, let's see. Uh, two, three. Okay, yeah, most of them. <laughs> most of them would be like, good. <laughs> they were not, ha I was a troublemaker when I was a child. And now I'm just, you know, anti bad badness. I, I try to be a good guy, and here's two whole new ones we haven't seen. 
Glammeow and Skunky. I don't get the blonde with Glammeow. The, the Glammeow doesn't work for me here. Maybe it's like... Maybe it's still the fact that it looks like it's floating. Not not as harshly as the one that I think was in the uh, other episode. I wish I could remember which specific Pokemon we were talking. Of, I was talking about at this time, but I can't. The Glammeow looks looks uh, looks almost ideal. I'd say that the color is off though. Am I crazy here? Because I thought Glammeow was a bit more like of a shade of purple. I can't believe how little I can talk about flying types, to be perfectly honest. Because there's so many, but, you know, I can't really say what needs to be said. Like, because it, it all goes... There's too many of them. There's too many to discuss. Fucking, fucking, uh, I don't know, Noibat. Fucking, I'll, I'll name the ones that I hate. Because, you know, there aren't too many that I can't, uh, that I can't stand. I'm going to say something a bit controversial and say that I'm not a big fan of Firo. Yeah, that's the, I said it. I don't know. It, it looks, it just it looks like a bird. It looks like a big anime bird. There you go. Zubat's barely common. I mean, let let's talk about Zubat. It, it's a it's a good design that everybody got fucking sick of since I since you know it's pretty much the only thing you run into in the cave all the time to the point to where it's a big big joke, big fucking joke. Um, let's see. Uh, let's talk about Hop Hip and the Jump Club. Okay, you know, okay. First of all, let me be absolutely clear. I l love the design. I think the design is neat. I think that they do genuinely look like Pokemon. Okay, I can point at that and say, yeah, that looks like a Pokemon. It has all the characteristics. It's got, it's got the cute face. It's got like this sort of ambiguity as to what it's supposed to actually be a in real life. But the fucking stats are the worst! The worst! You'll never run into anybody who says Jumpluff is in their main, only because they suck! They fucking suck! Like, uh, let me let me pull up an example here, okay? Okay, you fine with that doll faces? Of course you are. Of course. Uh, if only my, my phone would load properly. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, fucking... Uh, I'll get to the, the stats eventually. Game data. Game data. Where is it? Where's the game data? Is that not it? Is that not it? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll go. I will have to go to the, uh, to the Dexter. I have to hurry, because the episode's about to end. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, sweet good lord above. Oh, it's coming. One of these days. One of these days. It's gonna pull up what I wanted to pull, but it's the loading. Did you know the st the professor actually studies shit? Jump fluff. Okay, jump fluff. Jump into it right now. Ha! Ah! Ah! You get it? Okay, I like the shiny form. The shiny form is really nice. It's a good, good pink, good pinkish hue. Uh, sprite. Okay, stats. Stats. The stats is fucking weak. It's it's best is is speed and its base speed is 110. That's a bad stat. Or or wait no, that's special. What? What is that? Speed. Speed 95. SPE. What does SPE mean? SPE. Emergency. The the show is over after this guy stops talking to me. Stay wild. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow.